Hi, this is Happy Bird from happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com and I'm going to show you today how to make this beautiful and very simple little candy cane ornament. It's nice and sturdy and it is made with um, sunburst slash paddle wheel beads and I'll show you an excellent source for that, a very inexpensive source at the very end of this video. Um, so stay tuned and I think you're really going to like this. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is some 18 gauge gold non-tarnish wire. You can use silver non-tarnish wire if you prefer that. Um, you can find this at any craft store that has a jewelry making section and you can use any brand you'd like. This just happens to be Beadsmith. Okay. And I think if you don't have an 18 gauge, I think a 16 gauge would work just as well. Now, for me, I'm using 12 millimeter um, paddle wheel beads, but of course we'll call these sunburst beads because that's what the seller calls them. And I'm going to need some 18 millimeter clear paddle wheel slash sunburst beads as well. And I'm also using 10 millimeter acrylic pearls. I have quite a few of those. And the reason why I want this to be acrylic is because everything will be lightweight. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do at the end here is I'm going to take my my round nose pliers and at the very tip there I'm going to roll it like this. I don't want to make this very big at all. I'm doing it just to stop the beads from sliding off. Okay. But give it a little back bend. Like that. And then I'm going to take my little flat nose pliers and give it a squeeze, a gentle squeeze, just so it'll be nice and straight. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put on the 10 millimeter pink acrylic bead. They have um, small packages of these beads hanging up at Hobby Lobby if you're wondering where to find them. And okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is place on an 18 millimeter, or excuse me, a 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter. 18 millimeter and then another 12 millimeter so it kind of looks like a little ice berry there <laughs> and then we're going to place on another 10 millimeter and then a 12 millimeter 18 millimeter and another 12 millimeter just like that Okay. and we're just going to do that all the way down um, I'll stop when I think I have enough on here and then we'll count how many beads we used okay I put on another 12 millimeter 18 and 12 millimeter and then another bead I like how clear these beads are. Once in a while you'll find a seller that will send you clear beads and they won't always be clear but these are so nice and clear. I remember one time I ordered some paddle wheel beads from a seller on Etsy and when I got them I swear they had like a almost like a, a very slight tinge of blue to it and then I, I kept thinking well maybe it's my lighting or maybe it's this or that but no <laughs> okay and then another pink pearl see this is coming along and then we're going to place another 12 millimeter 18 millimeter 
and 12 millimeter and then another pink acrylic pearl I like the acrylic pearls because they're so lightweight but they also have these large holes in them so you can place wire right through it easily okay 12 millimeter 18 millimeter 12 millimeter and then another 10 millimeter bead okay and then we have another 12 millimeter 18 millimeter 12 millimeter and 10 millimeter bead and you want to start with a 10 millimeter bead and end with a 10 millimeter bead as well okay now I'm thinking that this might be good enough I think I'm gonna maybe do one more maybe we'll see how it looks okay and we have a 12 millimeter an 18 millimeter 12 millimeter and 10 millimeter it might be a little too long I'll have to see so let's um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it down on this end turn it kind of upside down and you can find any kind of cylinder bottle you want you just kind of give it a, a, a curve like that now of course it's not going to look like this but that's just to kind of curve it around and then I'm just going to do the rest like this actually I think that might work out perfectly yeah okay so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 of the 12 millimeter. Okay. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 of the 18 millimeter. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of the 10 millimeter um, pearls. Okay. So I'm going to turn this around and I'll shape it up a little more when I finish this part. But I'm going to make sure all the beads are pushed down here. And I'm going to cut about here, leaving maybe a little more than a fourth of an inch. And let's see, where's my round nose pliers? There we go. Right at the very end here, we're going to... Move this like, like so. There we go. I'm just, I'm just turning it. Just keep turning it. Okay, and then I'm going to straighten this up. Like that. Alright. So now we have what looks like that. I'm going to kind of bend it where these lay nicely. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I made some adjustments on this little candy cane, and what I did is I wanted to make this fairly tight so um, it wouldn't slide around up and down. It's okay if it, you know, moves this way, but just not up and down. And so what I did was I just took my little um, round nose pliers and you just keep rolling it until you feel it tighten but just be gentle with it so you don't crack or split any of the acrylic beads and um, you can either hang a nice little um, piece of white upholstery thread at the top and just hang it on the tree or you can take it just like this and just hang it on the branch of the tree but I think this turned out really nice and um, for those of you who are curious to know if maybe the iridescent pipe cleaners would look good on this. Yes, you could do it, but it's not going to be quite as sturdy as wire, so it just depends on um, how sturdy 
you want your cane. So with that said, um, I'm going to sign off and say God bless you. If you are curious as to um, a good source as to where you can buy these beads, then um, when I say goodbye, just stay tuned and this video will go right into um, where you can find these beads. So with that said, God bless you all and have a wonderful Christmas. Bye-bye. Okay, so I ordered my paddle wheel slash sunburst beads. They call them sunburst beads, the seller does, so that's why I'm referring to it as that. But um, to be honest with you, most people call these paddle wheel beads. Okay, now um, you can go to bead10.com or you can order them from eBay like I did. The seller's on eBay and on Amazon as well. Okay, and if you go to um, eBay, you can just type in the word B10, all one word, in the search bar, and their listings will pop up. Now, I used for the candy cane the 18 millimeter clear and the 12 millimeter clear. Okay, but they have lots of color choices and options on there. I did buy uh, a couple of the multicolored. Um, beads here because I wanted to play around with them I, you know just to see what looks good together and you know what beads or colors I'm partial to etc so um, I'll go ahead and put the link to this on my blog at happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com just click on the picture of the candy cane and when that opens you'll see a link right there and you can click on it okay and if you have any issues trying to find it, you can always email me at happybirdsglitternest at gmail.com. I hope you have a beautiful day, and God bless each and every one of you.